Michigan biophysicist Dr. W.C. Levengood is convinced that whatever causes the crop circle phenomenon uses a rapid and intense energy which produces cell changes in affected plants. He has studied crop samples since 1991 from the United States, Canada, England, and Australia. Over the years, Dr. Levengood has found a combination of several consistent changes in formations which include enlargement of plant cell pits, reoriented, swollen, and exploded growth nodes, evidence of rapid heating, changes in seed growth, and metabolic changes in plant cell respiration. Use the menu at the upper right screen to examine the results of Dr. Levengood's research in more detail. Plant cell pits are microscopic cavities variously arranged throughout cells which allow metabolite and gases to flow through living plants. Dr. Levengood discovered a wide range of cell pit changes in some formations compared to known hoax formations. After examining 30 cell pit samples from the 1992 Oliver's Castle formation, Dr. Levengood found a 21% average and consistent increase in all measured pit diameters compared to normal control plants. He also discovered that cell pit size increased in a consistent gradient from the edge of the plant leaf to the center and from the outer edges of formations to their centers. The only way he was able to reproduce such cell pit changes in control plants was to subject them to microwave energy. In Troy, Illinois in 1991 to 1992, circles were found in sweet flag grass. Dr. Levengood found that the cell pits in the circles were 50% larger than normal. He also found that the leaves were oddly ruffled on one side like stretched crepe paper. He said a rapid burst of heat in a microwave oven on only one side of the leaves could produce the effect. He emphasized that, quote, there is no way a hoaxer can do this by simply tromping on the plants. Since most formation plant samples Dr. Levengood has examined were not dehydrated, he concluded that the heating must occur at a rapid rate. For example, when he applied 30 seconds of microwave energy to some plants, the cell pits enlarged 14%. If exposed longer than 30 seconds to the microwave radiation, the plant cells shriveled from dehydration. But formation plants do not dehydrate and die. Down plants continue to grow and are harvested. It is also important to remember that in known hoax formations in which the creators need two to three hours to make their designs, no one has found enlarged, reoriented, and exploded growth nodes. Another important change in formation plants is seed growth. Dr. Levengood found a complete lack of seed development in plants from early spring formations. But in later, more mature plants affected from July on, he found normal appearing seeds, which in some formations germinated faster than control seeds and had a statistically significant increase in growth rate. Dr. Levengood reported that some seeds grew 45% faster than control plants. Consistently, year after year, Dr. Levengood has measured pronounced elongation and swollen reorientation of cereal crop growth nodes, ranging from 30 to more than 100 degrees from normal in some crop formations. These changes were dramatically evident in a Garnett, Kansas case in which an oval pattern was found in a wheat field. When Dr. Levengood examined plants collected from inside the oval and compared them to normal plants collected far outside the oval, Photograph A shows what happened to the top node of the plants growing in the center of the down wheat, an average 39 degrees reorientation from the vertical. Dr. Levengood thinks the cause is from rapid heating and expansion, followed by collapse of the thin cell tissue in the upper nodes, which then produce the angled reorientation. Photograph B shows what normal wheat nodes look like on plants collected from outside the oval formation. And photograph C shows expulsion cavities where the growth nodes have literally exploded outward further down the stem at lower nodes. Dr. Levengood hypothesized that the lower nodes have tougher, more mature tissue, which can sustain more pressure and do not collapse as easily as the upper node when exposed to rapid heating. 
Instead, Dr. Levengood concludes that the cell water heats up and actually bursts out of the lower growth nodes, creating expulsion cavities. He has found such expulsion cavities only in plants from inside crop formations and not in the control plants collected outside formations. Since self-hit enlargement along with reoriented, swollen and exploded growth nodes have been consistent in some formations that have other biochemical changes, Dr. Levengood thought it would be valuable to look at the microfibril construction of the cell wall itself. He devised a test to measure changes in the plant cell's respiration rates. He has discovered consistent changes from formation to formation. Those changes suggest the fundamental metabolism of the plant cells have been affected by an intense and rapid exposure to energies which might contain a spinning plasma and microwave frequencies.